Domestic gas, that's what we're talking about. This gas produces 40% of our heating needs in this country. But it occurs naturally. When animals or human beings eat plant material, it's broken down in their bodies and it produces methane gas, especially when you eat beans. <laughs> By Jovius. And if you'd ever been on a farm, you'd have got a whiff of methane gas because it pongs, something shocking. Now, besides starting life in the bowels of animals, methane also starts life in the bowels of the earth. And it seeps up through cracks in the Earth's crust and produces marsh gas, which will burn. We know that at least 1,800 years ago, the Chinese were using marsh gas to boil seawater to produce salt. And it occurs in many places throughout the world. And it's always a sign that underneath the marsh gas, there is coal. And this gas is the same gas that coal miners live in fear and dread of dreaded fire damp which occurs in coal mines. In the old days, the only defence against fire damp was for miners, when they went down the mine, to take a little friend with them. Who's a pretty boy, then? Not me from the start. Stuck down this colliery, this place is the pit. It really is. They don't want to... Canary for this job to do. They want a minor bird. Well, they're black, you see. I'm supposed to be yellow. And I was till the foot descended on me. Look at the state of me. I'm here, you see, to suss out gas through. The first sign of gas, and I'll fall off the perch. I will suffocate. I'll be deceased. And as soon as I've snuffed it, everybody else will scarper to safety. I wouldn't mind, you see, but I don't need gas to suffocate me down here. There's ponies, little ponies, been down this colliery three years without a scent of fresh air. And the stench from them is excruciating. Not only that, there's tiny tops, little kiddiewinks, eight and nine, working in this colliery, sitting in the dark, opening doors, shoving coal wagons, all without a spark of light. Well, you can't have sparks, you see, because that's the other thing about gas. As well as suffocating, yeah, it'll blast your feathers off. Still, I suppose they need some system of safety, and if the system succeeds in saving lives, I suppose it's all worth it. As long as the system succeeds. But let's face it, that's what a canary does best. He succeeds. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh!